My buddy Russ and I started off early one morning to explore the ghost town of Delamar. We turned off of Highway 93 between Alamo and Caliente onto a well-maintained dirt road where we could make some really good time on the 15-mile ride to Delamar. As we cruised along, we came across a fork in the road and I had to look down at my GPS to realize that I needed to go to the left. This is my third trip here. The first two were just to do some portfolio shots for some models. You know, I've been a professional photographer for over 50 years, so coming out and photographing ghost towns has just become a fun thing for me to do. The first part of the road was pretty good. All I had to do was look out for some cows that wanted to cross the street in front of us. As we kept going, the road got a little bit rougher. This is when I would have to recommend that you have a four-wheel drive with high, high clearance. You can tell how rough it is by looking at the front of my Jeep. It's bouncing all over the place. The camera I'm using actually does a very good job of, of uh, trying to keep it level. Gold was first found in this area around 1889 by a couple of prospectors and was named Ferguson after John Ferguson was one of those prospectors. Later on, uh, Captain John de Lamar bought some of the prime claims in this in 1893 and renamed it Delamar. The town quickly grew with many of the buildings made from the native rock, some of which are partially still standing today. By 1897, more than 3,000 people lived here. Looking down the road to the right, you can see a cabin made of rock. It's the first structure that we come, we come to. The town at one time had over 3,000 people living here and there must have been cabins just built up everywhere. Unfortunately, all that remain are the ones that were made out of stone. We decided to stop and take some photos. Now, Russ is an amazing photographer, and he's never been here before. So while Russ was taking some stills, I put my drone up to get a different perspective. I am a FFA certified drone pilot, and also always try to get some aerial views, weather permitting. that some people try to stay overnight in here. It looks like a makeshift uh, furnace in the back there. To spruce up the old cabin, I had a shot I did of the model here a couple years ago. She was a lot better looking than Russ. As you look across, you'll see what remains of the mill. You know, initially, there was a 50-ton mill um, that was built to, to handle the ore. And in 1902, uh, Captain de la Mar sold his interests in the mines, uh, which had produced like eight, eight and a half million in gold. The new owners installed a 200 ton mill in 1903. Now, you can see the remains of where the mill stood. A lot of the timbers have survived many years and then to add a sun and still standing. Russ and I headed over to Main Street, downtown Delamar. I decided to put my drone up to check out Main Street then also check out the area for sites that we might have missed. It doesn't seem like there was anything really worth seeing except for the 
assay office up on the hill there to the left, right across the road from the, a lot of uh, tailings. If we turned around, you'd get a great view of this vast area. After we finished checking out these stores, these I think they are stores, we headed up uh, Main Street, uh, extended as we kept going up the, the mountain to see what might be up there, but there wasn't too much up there. The road was pretty tough, and after going so far, we realized there was no reason to go any further. So we turned back around and got some great views coming back down. back down and we found what we think is the driveway going up to the assay office. Had been used in quite a few years it looks like. This is the best thing here. There's a lot of really cool things to photograph. Because of the shortage of water, all the drilling and milling was done dry, which caused a lot of dust that contained silica. And this is a, a deadly dust that was inhaled by the men and causing silicosis, and many of them died. Delamar soon was named the Widowmaker and they said at one time there were about 400 widows living there. Mm -hmm. 